Hey everybody, it's Dan, and I'm just doing a quick update here. And I have, as you can see, first update, this is Avalyn May. She's very happy to be here. <laughs> um, so she was born on January 15th. Uh, birth was great, as well as a natural birth can be. Kristen's amazing, and uh, it's a privilege to be a part of it. Um, it was long, over 24 hours, I think, total. Kristen's behind the camera. <laughs> um, but it was wonderful, amazing. We have an awesome midwife and a great team at the hospital that works with us doing the natural birth. And um, as I mentioned in Facebook posts, if you follow me on Facebook, uh, highly recommend Bradley. For any of you who are going through or planning on uh, having a child soon, check out Bradley. Um, I'll put in the link in our description, the one for our local area, but we highly recommend it. It's a great way to learn about everything that goes into childbirth. And we, we've deeply appreciated that. Um, but in other news, we had been planning to have some more content coming out, uh, during this month. Um, and I was able to get some editing done prior to Avalon being born. But uh, two days after we got home, less than a, it was a day and a half after we got home, at about 5 a.m., uh, Kristen started bleeding profusely from her nose and mouth. Uh, it was uh, terrifying. Um, nothing really happened in that moment to seem to instigate it. And uh, 28 hours later, three trips to the emergency room and then a trip to ENT, who then immediately said, we have to uh, send you by ambulance to the operating room because we need to perform a surgery. She ended up having a major artery <clears throat> behind her nose rupture and uh, on top of some kind of clotting issue that it was probably related to hormone imbalance with pregnancy. Uh, so Avalon and I spent a lot of time in the parking garage of the hospital trying to stay in touch with her as much as we could. Um, it, it was a nightmare. Um, but Kristen is on the mend now. The surgery was longer than expected, but successful. And um, she's healing now. Um, it was it was something else. Uh, yes, she had to have a blood transfusion afterwards uh, due to all the blood loss from both giving birth and then having this happen and for it taking so long, fortunately it was misdiagnosed initially. And that's why it took so long to get to surgery. But thankfully there's some amazing people in the hospital system out here that we met that helped us get there. And, uh, she still has more appointments and we're keeping track of things. But as of now, no more bleeding. She's healing slowly, but surely. And, uh, just trying to take it easy. On top of that, <laughs> our second son, Asher, had uh, an intense attack from croup at the same time, like two days, one day after Kristen's surgery. So um, Kristen and I have not gotten much sleep recently in the past few weeks. He is doing much better now. Um, if For those parents out there know what croup is like, it's scary, but uh, not too bad. Um, he got some medication for it and some tricks. Take your child out in the cold air if they're having a croup attack, and it almost immediately fixes it. It's really amazing because it's due to inflammation, and the cold air helps reduce that. Really cool stuff. So we learned a lot about our bodies today, <laughs> this month. Um, but I just wanted to thank you guys for uh, patiently waiting for us, and I apologize for the delay and things we are still planning to launch our patreon and exclusive discord uh as well as uh having bomb squad and jacob's lab available as podcast with the 100th episode of bomb squad uh our my plan is of now as i have not um had the time i thought i did um i'm gonna be pushing out the next couple episodes of bomb squad over February and March, we're still working on the business end of things and <clears throat> getting all of that set up. Um, but uh, so things might, we're not going to be consistently every week putting out content. Um, I'm just going to put it out as I can uh, until we hit that hundredth. And then hopefully by then we'll be back in the flow. Everybody will be 
healthy and we'll be ready to go. So, um, also I just want to say that the, the team, our team of people have been amazing. You know, it's my family and it's my very close friends, uh, both in helping with the business end of things, but also during this insane time, Torin and Asher had to be passed around. Thankfully, as some of you know, a lot of us live really close together. So uh, Torn and Asher had a great time while mommy and daddy were at the hospital uh, visiting friends. Um, and we're just so grateful for the community that we've been blessed with, as well as we have fostered with um, family, the, the family and friends that you guys are getting to know on our show. Um, it's making me emotional. <clears throat> um, so... Anyways, <clears throat> we're just uh, really blessed. So hopefully um, we can share that with all of you. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> through our shows. And uh, <sighs> It's the, it's the thing we want to do with um, Patreon and Discord is inviting all of you guys into our family. So uh, we hope we can continue to do that and <clears throat> really grateful to have the opportunity. So anyways, I'm losing it. So I'm going to sign off here. Um, thank you guys. Love you all. Can't wait to have fun family friends and gaming again and uh uh i really look forward to seeing you guys and talking with you in the discord we're launching and uh, uh we're, we're also looking into setting up on locals.com as well with some unique content there um we really like what uh that team is doing <clears throat> with that uh, site. So, uh, we're trying to make, uh, so another way you can support us would be to join locals, join our locals community and you know, have exclusive content there as well as uh, access to the discord or of course through Patreon as well. Same deal. So, um, thank you all again. And I look forward to diving back in. Okay. I didn't see that coming. <laughs>